Water worries in Rochester Hills. A middle school science experiment reveals mercury in the drinking water, closing the school for a second day tomorrow. It's our top story. Thank you for joining us tonight. The school is not taking any chances with this potential threat. In fact, the city is getting involved as well, and they're running their own tests to make sure this water is what it is. 7 Action News uh, reporter Brianne, uh, or rather Bethany Moore, has uh, the latest on this from Rochester Hills. Bethany? That's right. They made that decision to go ahead and do those extra tests just because they uh, don't want to take any chances with this situation. Water seemed to be just about everywhere today in Rochester Hills, but none that you could drink at Van Hosen Middle School or Rochester Adams High School. We want to be uh, an, an exercise caution. Um, we all know in this region how important water is, and uh, uh, we want to be right. The school and city not taking any chances. After a science class at Van Hosen Middle took water samples from the school, Paint Creek and Sargent Creek, and had it tested at a lab at Arizona State University. Results showed mercury levels significantly higher than the maximum contaminant level. 0 0.056 compared to the EPA maximum allowed 0 0.002. Since the test wasn't done by a certified lab, the mayor is having the water tested again. But he doesn't think the school has a mercury problem. They feel very confident. Um, our system is tested very regularly. Um, and so we have, uh, in fact, we just put out a water quality report that suggests that our water quality is uh, above average in nearly every metric that's, uh, uh, th that's tested. And parents we talked to are saving any worry until those results come back. I wasn't really concerned at all. Um, I figured they'll take care of it. And plus, it's not really a uh, final test. So. More, like, more or less, it was a science experiment. Now, the mayor says that he hopes to have those test results by tomorrow morning. In the meantime, Van Hosen Middle School and Rochester Adams High School will both be closed tomorrow. But we want to warn parents at home, the seniors of Rochester Adams High School, they do have to come to school. They're going to be bused over to uh, Oakland University. That's where they're going to finish up some of their testing. Reporting live, Bethany Moore, 7 Action News. All right, Bethany, thank you. Some of those symptoms of mercury poisoning include irritability, difficulty breathing and walking. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, says the long-term effects can be quite serious. You could have changes in your neurological system, so people have been shown to have lower IQs and difficulty processing, reproductive damage, so you may not be able to reproduce, and also even heart damage where you can be more prone to a heart attack. So if you think you may have mercury poisoning, be sure you go see your doctor right away. A blood test will be able to help with that diagnosis and determining additional treatment if need be. Number two in tonight's